Let's go. I'm going to catch you scared. Put on my friends, get fly like a bird. We keep the commandments, don't know what you heard. Pull out some scripts like I'm a director. I stay with my sword, I'm ready when that is the end. This one over here, right? Read. And his feet. Now he looked down at his feet. Just like if I look at your feet, they're pretty much the same color the rest of your body, right? Read. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? He knows everybody. Huh? Brass is like gold. Like a gold is brown, like a penny, right? So he said his feet was like brown, like brass. As if they burn in a furnace. If you burn anything, what color is going to turn? Huh? Black. Burn. Black. Yeah. If you burn anything, it's going to turn black. That's see? Right. So if Christ's feet was black, what color was his legs? Black. Black. Right. What color was his arms? Black. What right. color was his face? So what color was Jesus? Black. That's so, right. So who is this? That ain't Jesus, is it? Right. Jesus Christ is a black man, sis. That's right. right. He's a black man. And, the, and Jesus Christ was a Jew as well, right? So that means that the Jews are what color? Black. So that that's means them right. people that's over there right now saying that they the Jews, they ain't the Jews, sis. That's right. Guess who the Jews? You, right. You know what I'm saying? You looking at the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the children of Israel. That's right. We're not black Mexican. We're not black. We're not colored. We are the Israelites, sis. That's right. You hear that? We are the children of Israel. We got a statement out there. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is? Who's he love? Everybody. Okay, God loves everybody. We believe that, right? You believe that too? Okay, so we're going to go to the Bible and find out, all right? Give me Romans 9 and 13 right quick. Let's see. That's the thing. You go to church, my sister. You go to church. You go to church. All right. And these are the things we be taught in church. Did they ever teach us Jesus was a black man? Bring it out. They taught us this was Jesus, didn't they? Everybody thought this was Jesus. Right. So if the church lied to us about that, what else are they lying about? What else are they lying about, Rudy? Maybe they lying about God love everybody, right? Huh? 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 Lost scriptures. Lost scriptures? What law scriptures? There's, there's things that people don't know about. There's laws out there. Yeah, no, they don't know it because they don't read the Bible. Right. We listen to pastor and just accept whatever he say. But let's see if Jesus, uh, God love everybody. Read. Romans 9, 13. As it is written, Jacob, have I loved. Now, Jacob is the father of the 12 tribes of Israel, right? He, that's who we descend from. You know what I'm saying? He said, Jacob, have I loved. But Esau. Esau, guess what? When you read the Bible in Genesis, Esau is the first so-called Caucasian or white man on the face of the earth. Right. You know what I'm saying? He was Jacob's brother, but he was different. He was born red all over, meaning you could see the blood through his skin. You see what I'm saying? But listen what he say about Esau. But Esau, have I hated? Now I'm going to ask y'all again. Do God love everybody? Huh? I think so. But what did the Bible say? Huh? You yeah, Acts 5 and 29. What did the Bible just say? Listen to this. Read. Acts 5 and 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God. Who we ought to obey? God. Rather than men. Men told us that God loved everybody. But the Bible, which is God's word, just said God hates somebody. So now who we going to believe? Huh? Who we going to believe? We going to believe God or we going to believe man? I'm 
I'm believe God. All right then. Right. So God don't love everybody. That's right. You know what I'm saying? God is only the God of the children of Israel. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Get Luke chapter one. Watch this. See, these are the things they don't teach us in church. We learn Christianity in church, but Christianity is a religion. Christianity taught us that Jesus Christ is a white man. You know what I'm saying? Christianity taught us, just like y'all just said, God love everybody. You know what I'm saying? But watch this. Read. Luke 1 and 16, 8. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of who? Israel. God is the God of who? Israel. Israel. Read. For he has visited and redeemed his people. He has visited and redeemed his people. You see that? His people. Not all people. His people. Read. And had raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet, which had been since the world began. He said, but he spake by the mouth of all the prophets, which have been around since the world began, right? That what? That we should be saved. That we should be saved. Not everybody should be saved. We should be saved from our enemies. From our enemies. Who are our enemies? Huh? Would you say, would you say the people that did this to us are our friends? Huh? Would your friends do this to you? That would be your enemies, right? So who are our enemies? Straight out. Man. Huh? Man. Man? Yeah. What man? Man itself. Huh? What man did this? Huh? What race of people did that? Huh? All right. All right. So that would be considered your enemies, right? Right. That's what the Bible is teaching us, that we should be saved because they put us in slavery. Are we still in their hands right now? Bring it out. Huh? Yeah, we still right here. Did they give us back anything they stole from us? The Texas used to be a part of Mexico. Right. You see what I'm saying? That you, This used to be your land. Right. You used to be able to live and roam here free. This land was full of buffalo. You see what I'm saying? They slaughtered all the buffaloes to starve your people out. Bring it out. So they could conquer you. Would your friends do that? Bring it out. See, we, we disconnect ourselves from our history. We the only people that do that. We the only people that say, oh, forget about history. You know what I'm saying? Do you do you think them uh the fake Jews is what we just learned today? Do you think they forgot about the Holocaust? They still talk about it to this day, right? Bring it out. But they don't want us to talk about our history. They don't want us to talk about what they did to us. Wake them up. You know what I'm saying? But watch this, read. That we should be saved from our enemies uh -huh. and from the hand of all that hate us. You see that? That's what Jesus Christ came for. He came to bring us back together so we could be saved from our enemies. Right. This is the land of our captivity. This is not our land no more. You yeah. see what I'm saying? But Christ is coming back to take us back to our original land, right. which is Jerusalem. That land they over there fighting for right now, that's our land. That's why they over there fighting for it. Because the Arabs and uh, all the other races of people that's over there right now, they know that them white people ain't don't belong over there. That's why it ain't no peace over there. Because they don't belong there. They came over there and they, they captured us off from Africa and shipped us all over the world on slavery. Out of our land. That's what happened. But Christ is coming back to save us. Right. So that's what you got to understand, sis. You're not a Mexican. You're an Israelite. That's right. From the tribe of Issachar. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You're an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. That's right. You got to return back to your head. What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.